there's a pretty clear understanding across the ship that the hardest job is being in reactor department. One of the most complex arrangement of systems we've ever engineered. Our end game is to be part of a watch team that supports safe reactor operation to provide propulsion for our carriers and our submarines. We have three primary ratings, electronics, technician, nuclear, electrician's mate, and machinist mate. As an electrician's mate, they're responsible for upholding the electric plant. Electronics technician nuclear, they're trained to operate the control systems and safety circuits for the nuclear reactor itself. And then machinist mates, we are trained for the propulsion plant and piping systems within the engine room. We'll come down and check your pump pressure, it's in specification. Move on to your hydraulic pressure for your flip. The job in the engineering plant and the submarine and the job in the engineering plant and the carrier are pretty much identical. Uranium in the presence of water will cause fission. That chain reaction produces heat. Uh, we use that heat to generate steam. The steam we use for propulsion and to make electric power. It's something that I didn't think I would ever learn coming out of high school. And it's something that I think I'm gonna keep with me for the rest of my life, even if I progress outside of the Navy. Boeing, uh, Tesla, Amazon, Facebook, they're actively hunting for nukes that are getting out of the Navy because they know that they sit you down in front of a book and they give you some training on something that you will be able to get it right the first time. The enlistment bonus is massive now, $40,000, just to essentially make it through the school. On top of that, re-enlistment bonus is $100,000 and you get half of that right away, so $50,000 in your bank account one day. It's pretty nice. 